Hi guys, and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Canary Channel. Finally, we get a new Canary Channel build, and this one is the build 27802. This has a few new features and also some improvements to the Windows 11 operating system. And in this video, of course, we're going to cover everything that there is to it in this latest Canary Channel build. So if you enjoy videos like these in which we talk about different Windows 11 Insider preview builds, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the Tech Based channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, for laptop users, Microsoft is also adding the new taskbar battery icons and also the battery percentage on the taskbar system tray with the different battery icon colors and states. The green one for when the battery is fully charged, the orange one for when the battery is on energy saver mode, and the red one when battery needs plugging in. And also the new option to show the battery percentage, which is a cool option and cool feature that will show you the battery percentage directly on the taskbar system tray. Also related to the taskbar, Microsoft is also adding some new option to be able to directly share a file from the taskbar jump list. So if you right click on a file and you have a recent file here in the jump list for an opened or pinned taskbar app, you're also going to have the share this item option. You can click on it and it will open the share section for that file. And you're going to be able to share it to your phone, to email, use nearby sharing, share it to different apps, Outlook, phone link, and so on. Microsoft is also adding an option for Windows Spotlight. So whenever you have the Windows Spotlight theme selected, you're going to be able to easily discover more information about your background image by simply hovering over or clicking on the learn about this picture icon on your desktop. Now let's talk about a few fixes in this build. First of all, Microsoft fixed the issue causing insiders to see an error trying to install the previous build alongside with a failed .NET update. This issue should not occur with this build. Related to the file explorer, Microsoft fixed an issue where if you opened a file explorer window and minimized it, it might not be rendered correctly when we store it. Related to the taskbar and system tray, Microsoft fixed an issue where when using multiple monitors, the distance between the date and time and edge of the screen wasn't consistent. Related to input, fixed an issue where if you were using a non-default mouse color enabled in settings, accessibility and mouse pointer and touch, it may unexpectedly revert back to white when you encountered a user account control dialog. Related to the lock screen, Microsoft fixed an issue which was causing the login screen to crash when clicking the sign-in options link or some insiders. Related to administrator protection, fixed a rare issue when administrator protection was enabled, which could cause you to see a resource loader cache error loading the MUI file on sign in. Removed the extra space between dynamic lock and administrator protection under account protection in Windows Security. And also fixed an issue where administrator protection wasn't showing in the results if you searched from the taskbar. Related to audio, fixed an issue causing a small percentage of insiders to not be able to hear audio in the last couple builds due to a background audio crash. Related to remote desktop, fixed an issue in the last two canary builds where if you used remote desktop to connect to your PC and then try to sign in into the computer locally, it would sit at a black screen. And we have three other fixes. Fix an underlying issue causing some insiders to see a bug check with Win32K critical failure in recent builds. Fix an underlying issue causing some insiders to see a bug check with kernel security check failure in recent builds. And also fix an issue where SFC scan now is showing errors every time it was ran. We also have a few new known issues. For example, a known issue related to gaming. Some popular games like Roblox may cause a bug check. Green screen on this build, so this is a known issue that will be fixed in future builds. Also related to printing, printing from some apps may cause a bug check. Also related to power and battery, the colors in the new battery icon aren't displayed correctly when you have your mode and personalization and colors set to certain options with custom. And related to search, Microsoft is working on the fix for an issue causing the search window to be blank for some insiders recently when searching from the taskbar due to a background crash. So this is basically everything that you need to know about the build 27802, the latest build from the Canary channel. Channel. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.